Westerners might say, 15 years old is still too young to work in that kind of industry. In our Japanese Lolita complex society, 15 years old is very mature. Mishida jokes about Japan. Kyoto is a famous traditional city in Japan, and Maiko are the symbol of Kyoto. Maiko are part of traditional Japanese culture. They are 15 to 19 years old teenage girls who are geisha apprentices, living with them in a hanamachi or a geisha district. In Kyoto, there are five hanamachi. The geisha attend the parties, not only playing traditional instruments and singing, but also working like a hostess by pouring drinks for customers and entertaining them through conversation and playing games together. Even though Michael are teenage trainees, they are more popular than professional geisha. So Michael has a genuine Japanese traditional culture. This is a symbol of Yorikon culture. Mishido. But recently, former Michael tweeted about the dark side of Michael and it caused a controversy. The woman who worked as a Michael when she was 16 years old tweeted, After telling this, I'll be kicked out of the society, but I'll tell you the truth of Michael. When I was 16 years old, I was forced to drink a lot of alcohol and to take a bath together with customers. I refused a lot and Lucky didn't need to take a bath together. But is this our real Japanese traditional culture? We have to think about it. She also tweeted that her virginity was about to be sold for $500,000. But even if she went through with it, she wouldn't see any of that money. The former Michael worked as a Michael for only several months. So it's not certain whether her confessions are all true or not. After her tweet went viral, some former Michael also agreed and talked about the dark side of Michael, but on the other hand, some former Michael denied it. But even though this news became very popular on the internet, major Japanese TV stations haven't reported on it. This is weird. Why are major TV stations avoiding reporting this news? Are they being careful as men of high status would disapprove? Anyway, Japanese major TV stations seem to want to pander to traditionalists and keep our traditional culture unchanging. So today, I'll talk about Maiko. As you already know, Maiko are trainee geisha. The origins of Maiko were waitresses at tea houses in the Edo period, almost 300 years ago, there were many tea houses in Kyoto which did business with the people who visited the temples and shrines. First, they only provided tea and sweets, but eventually they also provided alcohol and food. Finally, the teenage girls who worked there as waitresses started imitating kabuki plays or traditional Japanese plays and playing shamisen and singing and performing to entertain customers. So the tea houses hired cute teenage girls and tried to attract customers. And these tea houses became very very popular since a long time ago. Unlike Japanese women who go to drink tea, Japanese men have been going to cafes to watch young girls. But tea houses also provided a hidden menu to customers. After providing drink and food, they also provided teenage girls in the secret houses next door. And we still call playing with Michael and Geisha Oshaya Asobi or tea house play. It seems that this secret service is still in existence in Kyoto. But many tea houses provided secret services and became very popular. So it became a not so secret service, and the Edo governor tried to get rid of them by making new rules. They only allowed kids under 30 years old or women over 40 years old to work there as waitresses. Then 
tea houses seem to become only for pedophiles and milfu fans, and most people stop coming nowadays. Even if we still had that restriction, tea houses would still be very popular. By the way, before, 90 to 13 years old girls could become in my c o u but nowadays, in Kyoto, they cannot accept anyone under 15 years old, only girls who have graduated from junior high school and finished compulsory education. Can become in my goal. Westerners might say 15 years old is still too young to work in that kind of industry. In our Japanese Lolita complex society, 15 years old is very mature. Mishido. Maiko belongs to the Okia or Geisha house, and Okia is a kind of both a talent training institute and an agency. Girls who want to become Maiko choose an Okia and take an interview. Then the Okia decides whether to accept them or not. After joining the Okia, they have to train for at least five years. They learn everything about being a professional geisha. So they learn traditional instruments, singing, and polite behavior. First, they start their career as a shikomi or helper. While they are supporting the senior Maiko and household chores in the Okia, they learn the basic skills of Maiko and prepare for becoming one. Then, After becoming an apprentice in Maiko, they then become real Maiko. They all live together under the strict house rules. Some Okia prohibit Maiko from having faults. Since the beginning, Okia were already controlling teenage kids under strict rules and keeping them apart from the real world to become professional performers. k p o p agency. Are just a modern knockoff. Michael are very busy. I read some Okia's websites and they interview the Michael's schedule. They wake up 7 to 8 a.m. and in the morning they train in traditional performances and after eating lunch they go to greet their clients. Then they prepare for work. You know, they have a lot of things to do. For example, it takes almost an hour to do their white makeup. The reason why they color their face white is before, in the Edo period, they didn't have lights and only used candles. So, to show their faces clearly, they started painting them white. It's not that they want status and power and try to become white to get attention. Like Jesus. After getting ready, they start working at 6 pm, and if they have a busy night, they go back home around 1 am. They are still teenagers, but they attend parties until late at night. If they were not the Michael, we would call them bad dogs. The Michael is a train, so the Okia or agency covers their food, clothing, and shelter. They also pay for everything. For example, expensive lesson fees, kimono, and instruments. It says that it costs a lot to develop a Michael into a professional geisha. That's why Michael don't get a salary, they just get an allowance. But as you already know, Ozashiki Asobi or Michael or geisha parties in Kyoto are very expensive. Only rich people enjoy it. But Okia never t e l l how much they earn from the parties that Michael worked. Okia don't show the detail of the sales. They just say, we pay everything for Michael, so Michael h a v e to work for free for us. And they are trained through working at the parties. They can learn how to behave as professional geisha. So it's not work, it's part of the training. That's why we don't pay. Michael. Abroad, people would call it exploitation, but we call it tradition. Michael w o r k hard, but their salary is taken by their boss and they just get a small allowance. They are the same as Japanese salary. They also have all their salary taken by their wives. Michael and Japanese salary man both can complain about it because. They are afraid of their masters.
In Kyoto, it's very difficult to call Michael and Geisha to a party because basically they have a policy called Jigen san Okotowari, which means they don't accept new customers unless introduced by a regular customer. This is part of Kyoto's traditional culture. First, you find a regular customer who knows the Okia, then ask them to introduce you. To put it simply, Jigen san Okotowari means area which people allow. At an Ozashiki or Geisha party, Michael has a life of the party and Geisha controls it and makes sure it proceeds smoothly. So, for Michael, they are not only performing traditional arts, but also they need to entertain customers. So, pouring drinks is also an important part of their job. The people who work in Hanamachi was a Geisha district set. We are strictly dealing with underage drinking. But their customers are all regular and rich. If their customers ask them to drink, can they really refuse? By the way, nowadays, Japanese convenience stores also say they are strictly dealing with underage drinking. In fact, when you buy alcohol, you just need to push a button to declare you are over 20. So, you can buy alcohol without ID. That's Japan's strictly dealing with underage drinking. To protect our Japanese traditions, I won't say anything more. But in Japan, our Labor Standards Act bans anyone under 18 years old from working after 10 pm. And they are not allowed to serve alcohol. So, why? and Michael are allowed to work until late at night, even though some of them are under 18 years old. That's because Michael are not the workers. They are apprentices. They are studying and they don't get any salary. So they are covered by that labor law. But this isn't only for teenagers aiming to be geisha, but also young small wrestlers, kabuki actors, do actors, and kyogen performers. Their food, clothing, and shelter is taken care of, but they are working without pay. Japanese people who work in traditional cultures exist outside the control of our labor laws. So, Japanese traditional culture is supported by legal workers. Before, it was very common that each Michael had their own dana or patron as a sponsor. The dana paid a lot to support their favorite Michael. Then, the dana had a relationship with the Michael in return for their support. When Michael had a relationship with their dana for the first time, they called it Mizuage or loss of virginity. When fishermen started selling their fish from their fish boats at the market, they would call it Mizu Age. Mizu means water. Age means pull up. Of course, nowadays, this culture is regarded as outdated by our modern human rights. But surprisingly, the former Michael tweeted that her virginity was about to be sold. I'm not sure, but maybe only a few Okia still have a secret service only for super rich customers. Also, she complained that she was about to be forced to take a bath together with a customer. Or maybe the fucking rich man gave up on playing the mic up from the water and jumped into the water to try to play with her instead. It's obvious that even though the former Michael confessed her experience, not all Michael are working in the same situation. It says that it depends on which Okia or agency they belong to. Each Okia has different rules and treatment. After this became big news, some former Michael said that they never experienced anything similar. But some former Michael said that in Hanamachi, Underage drinking being considered to be allowed, and there was a feeling that drinking alcohol is part of their performance. So, that means the same as normal high school students and university students 
Michael are secretly drinking alcohol. The only difference between Michael and normal teenage girls is that Michael drink with rich middle-aged men. Or maybe there is no difference. I think many Michael in Kyoto are working and studying hard to become professional geisha. So I really respect them as entertainers. So it's a little bit sad that all Michael are regarded as victims or teenage hostesses, but Michael are working in a closed world. So it's quite difficult to know the facts. If we Japanese want to keep Michael culture as part of our traditional culture, we have to change some of the out of date traditions and protect the girls who want to be professional geisha. Luckily, our tradition of liking young girls will never change, so they have a job security. Now, Michael and Geisha in Kyoto are registered as an intangible cultural heritage. I think it's important to protect our traditional culture. We have to create flexible rules that protect the people who are continuing that tradition. If we cannot do it and continue to exploit teenage girls, our government will change the law like the Edo governor did and only allow women over 40 years old to work as Michael. If they decide to do so, I will move to Kyoto. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I started hosting my solo stand-up comedy show in Tokyo. If you come to Tokyo, please come to my comedy show. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. And please check out my Patreon too. So, see you soon. Bye-bye.